Rapids. Get loud and say it with me. This is Monster Jam. The first competition of the afternoon is Monster Jam JCB Racing. It's driver against the clock, which means the driver with the fastest time will take home the first eight points of the event and the racing win. Grand Rapids, who's ready for Monster Jam JCB Racing? Up for super fan turn superstar, make some noise for Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. for Alex Barton in Stone Crusher is 15.708. So Alex Barden in Stone Crusher with a 15.708, given a five second penalty, not getting both front race tires up that middle race ramp into after that final turn. So Alex Barden hit with a five second penalty, Stone Crusher clocking in at a 15.708. Up next from Kiwani, Wisconsin, make some noise for Brandon Tolutchka, just get her done too. for Brandon Talichka and Just Get Her Done 2 is 10.292. That was his fastest time of the weekend and one of the faster times clocked in in our JCB racing so far at a 10.292 right now. Your leader, Brandon Tolutchka, just get her done too. Quite a few racing wins under her belt this season. Up next, it's Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. is a 10.458.
for Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mud Dalmatian at 10.458 right now, sitting in second in our JCB racing competition. Swimming through Lake Michigan to get here. Up next, make some noise for Michaela Talutschka in Megalodon. And the time for Michaela Jelichka is 14.2. So Michaela Tolutschka, Megalodon of 14.208, not able to swing that back end around in that final turn, which kind of slowed her time down. Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mud Dalmatian in second with a 10.458. And right now, just get her done to Brandon Tolutschka sitting with the fastest time at a 10.292. He has six timed racing wins on the season, looking for the seventh right now. Make some noise. For Fernando Martinez, El Toro, Loco. Toro Loco is 9.667. Putting down the fastest time of the weekend at 9.667. Your new leader, Fernando Martinez in El Toro Loco. Up next, your current Arena Championship Series Central points leader, it's Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. Weston Anderson in at Grave Digger is 10.458. All right, Weston Anderson and Gravedigger currently in fourth with a 10.458. Still fastest time to beat a 9.667. Now pulling to the line, get those zombie arms out and make some noise for Frank Kremel in zombie. is 12.083.
For Frank Kremlin Zombie, it was a 12.0831 competitor left with that time to beat El Toro Loco, a 9.667. And here to solve the mystery and take that racing win, it is Brianna Mahan in Scooby-Doo. As you watch the Super Glue Glue do the action replay, Brianna Mahan almost rolling it over in that final turn. But with that time, that means at a 9.667, your JCB Racing winner, Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. That is his seventh timed racing win at Monster Jam. Starting out by taking the first eight points of the competition, and now he's pumped and on the pad with Keaton Stewart. Fernando Martinez, a big congratulations to you and Team El Toro Loco for taking the win. I want to congratulate you as well as you build on your accolades. This is your 20th competition win, but I got even better news for you than that. This was the fastest time we have seen the entire weekend out of all of our events here at Grand Rapids. He did it just for you. Fernando, what was in your head during the race? Go fast. Be number one. That was about it. I heard you guys cheering me on. I could see the camera. I was waving high, and I heard you guys over the engine noise, and it got me pumped up. So a little bit more of that, Grand Rapids, and we're going to have a really good day today. Well, it's clear you've made all of the fans happy here, and it is a little bit like the events we've seen before. And it, sometimes we see you kind of lose that momentum. But all of the El Toro Loco fans here, I know, want it as bad as you do. So what are you going to do today to hopefully, you know, keep up this momentum and ride the way? Cooler heads prevail. You guys, I'm out here representing the Hispanic community. I need a todo mi gente Latino to get loud. I need everyone else to get super loud. We got two wheel skills coming up next, baby. And that's becoming one of my favorite competitions. We're going to get wild. That bull nose is already coming off. I think we should just tear it completely off the truck. Grand Rapids, are you ready for that? Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, grabs the first eight points of the event, chasing that BKT overall event championship. Brandon Tolushka just get her done, too, with seven points. Monster Mutt Dalmatian with six. Brave Digger sitting in fourth right now with five points. And our next competition, another eight points on the line. The Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge, where you will help pick our winner in this next competition. Each truck and driver gets two attempts to do something absolutely crazy on just two BKT tires. We're looking for stoppers, uh, stoppies, poppers, wheelies, moonwalks, and more. And right now on the video board, we're gonna show you some of the different tricks you might see with Monster Jam Showdown in our Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge.
It's time for the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Each driver, two attempts to impress you Grand Rapids Monster Jam fans because you are going to have a say in who our next winner is. And here to talk more about JudgesZone.com, let's go back into the stands, hanging with the fans. It's Taylor. All right, so fans, go ahead and take out those phones. It's time for your first opportunity to score on Judges Zone. Now, you can scan the QR code up on the video board or just open a new web browser and go directly to JudgesZone.com. Now, for all of our fans at home, again, this is just for our fans here in the arena. So you all get to join in on the fun because you're here with us. You get to see the drivers. Now, it's important to note that you're only going to have 20 seconds for this entire scoring process. Type in that city code RAP, press submit. The next screen, that's going to be your BKT their BKT scoring. So you'll slide that up or slide it down, landing on the score you think that driver deserves. Don't forget to press submit again. And one more question for you, Grand Rapids. Who's ready for the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge? Up first is going to be Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. together for Alex Barden, Stone Crusher. Grand Rapids, if you're here in the arena, it's time to score. Let's make our way to judgeszone.com. Scan that QR code up on the video board. You've got 20 seconds. Awesome popper there in the first hit on that super glue, glued to the action replay, setting it back down. But then the second attempt, Going for the stoppy, moonwalking up the ramp, then bouncing across the pad. Alex Barden now waiting for his scores from you at judgeszone.com. The score for Stone Crusher is. Seven point seven nine one for Stone Crusher. All right, 7.791, the score to beat. Up next, Michaela Tolutchka in Megalodon.
Kachka Megalodon. Grand Rapids, make some noise for Michaela Telechka and Megalodon, and then make your way to judgeszone.com to lock in your scores. You can see her hopping out of the truck there in that onboard camera. And now she's hanging out right now. Grand Rapids, let's hear it for Megalodon. Two stoppies, one with an awesome moonwalk. Again, just walking across the pad there. And the scores are in for Michaela Telechka and Megalodon at judgeszone.com. A 5.355. That puts her right now in second place. Up next, it's Frank Kreml in Zombie. So that score to beat Stone Crusher right now is for Frank Kremel in Zombie. So let's lock in those scores. Remember the city code is RAP and you can scan the QR code up on the video board. While he waits for his score, let's show him some love. Let's see all the zombie arms out right now. Let's get to see his zombie arms going. Frank doing it in the truck right now. Two popper attempts. Scores are in. The score for Frank Kremel in Zombie is a 4.593. The score to beat is still a 7.791. Up next, it is Brianna Mahan in Scooby-Doo. Let's lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Slide the VKT tire up or down and press submit. On that super glue, glue to the action replay. Stoppy with a quick moonwalk up that giant race ramp on the path, setting it back down. Brianna Mahan is pretty much a veteran at this point in this competition. Hanging out the truck right now, watching the video board for her scores. 
the score for Scooby-Doo is a 7.495. Good enough right now for second place. So currently, Zombie in fourth with a 4.593. Megalodon in third, a 5.355. Brianna Mahan getting close there to that top spot in second right now with Scooby-Doo at a 7.495. And Stone Crusher, Alex Barden, right now in first with a 7.791. And four competitors left in the Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge. Up next... It is Weston Anderson in. Up next is going to be your JCB Racing winner, Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. Competition up a notch. It's Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. He hears your screams, Grand Rapids, but let's turn those screams into scores at judgeszone.com. Smooth as butter. Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, and that super glue glued to the action replay. Two amazing stoppies, and then even a combo move in that last one. Big roars from the Grand Rapids fans here. Now we'll see if that translates into big scores for Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco. The score to beat, Stone Crusher, a 7.791. The score for El Toro Loco is... Nine point six three. Your new leader is El Toro Loco. Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. After that second eight points of the event, towards that BKT overall event championship, three competitors remain, and up next is going to be Brandon Teluchka. Just get her done too.
showing you how to just get her done on two BKT tires. Brandon Telechka, just get her done too. It's time to score at judgeszone.com, Grand Rapids. Let's lock it in. Yeeting over that pad and then bouncing them back. BKT tires up to Moonwalk. Out of that stoppy, unbelievable right there from Brandon Teleska. Just get her done too. And in that first hit, definitely the balancing act there right here sets it right on the front. And I thought that truck was going over, but he kept it on all four BKT tires. And now your scores are in for Brandon Teleska. Just get her done too. And 8.699, that right now puts him in second place. Up next, it's Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Put your puppy paws together for Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. It's time to score. Let's make our way to judgeszone.com. If you haven't joined in yet, you still got time. Scan that QR code up on the video board. This weekend, Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, getting her first Great Clips Two Wheel Skills win. And hoping for big scores now at judgeszone.com. Balancing that puppy on them front two tires. Doing a great job dancing around and then setting it back down to your cheers. So the scores are in for Monster Mutt Dalmatian. A 7.758. Good enough right now for fourth place with two competitors left. Actually one left. And it's time for the black and green wrecking machine. Here comes Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. And remember the score to beat a 9.63.
Let's hear it for Weston Anderson, Grave Digger. An exciting finish. Grand Rapids, you gotta go to Judges Zone and score that one there. 20 seconds on the clock. Big roars, we'll see if that turns into big scores. Weston Anderson did not want to let Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco walk through this competition without a challenge. And the endo right there in that super glue, glued to the action replay with a little wheelie afterwards. Weston Anderson and Gravedigger is unbelievable. All right, the scores are in. Weston watching right now. Here we go. The score to beat. El Toro Loco, a 9.63. The score for Gravedigger is... Nine point five five one. Good enough for second place. That means the second eight points of the event goes to your winner, Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. Weston Anderson and Gravedigger with 32 Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge wins. So close to making it 33. But for Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, this is a big win en route to that BKT overall event championship. And that means, I mean, he looks pumped down there. Currently 16 points. On the event right now, Grand Rapids makes some noise for El Toro Loco. Fernando, what an incredible run. Now, if you were able to watch in the back, I don't know if you had that opportunity, but the crowd was absolutely wild at the very last competitor, Weston Anderson. But every single person here who scored for you decided that you should be the champion of this competition. It is now your second competition win. You're on such a high road right now. I mean, what was your feelings after your run completed? It felt good. Honestly, I haven't done that little lip pop into the wheelie a lot. And today, I think it was probably one of my best ones. It was really sweet. And when I got out of the truck, I knew you guys loved it. Gravedigger is a tough guy to beat, man, especially when he rolls the truck over like that. But you guys, I love you guys so much already. This is becoming such a great Sunday afternoon. I think that your run and your score truly does prove the magic of Monster Jam is anything can happen because our fans are the judges. They are the judges for the rest of the competitions. So we got Sky Wheelie coming up and we have Freestyle. In the Sky Wheelie competition, are you going to change anything that you've done the last day to hopefully score a win? You know, Grand Rapids, I honestly haven't been doing great at Sky Wheelies, but today, no holds barred. We took the two first competitions and I want to take more. I'm getting greedy, baby. But the one thing I have to know from you guys is are you ready? That was nothing. We got, we got some of the best freestyle motocross riders plus more Monster Jam action. I need to hear you. Are you ready? Fernando Enfuego in El Toro Loco. The super glue glued to the action replay of his win in that Great Cliffs Two Wheel Skills Challenge. And Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, your current leader for the BKT Overall Event Championship with 16 points. Just get her done two in second. Brandon Tolochka with 13 points. Gravedigger in third with 12. And Monster Mutt Dalmatian in fourth with 10 points. We still have two big events to go with another 16 points on the line before we crown that BKT Overall Event Champion. So still headed your way. Freestyle Motocross, Sky Wheelies, and Monster Jam Freestyle. But right now... It's Monster Jam halftime. Opportunity to take a quick break, hit the restroom, grab some food, grab some gear to cheer for your favorite truck and driver. But get ready, Grand Rapids, because there is still more Monster Jam action to come. But first, this is Monster Jam halftime. The live streaming and or recording of Monster Jam events is prohibited. 
Live events may not be broadcasted, transmitted, reproduced, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the expressed written consent of Feld Motorsports. As our freestyle motocross riders finish things up right now, it is Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, sitting on top and maybe stealing the event championship from Weston Anderson and Gravedigger, who said he wanted to go five for five this weekend. So while El Toro Loco sits on top, two competitions left for our Monster Jam superstars. That's Sky Wheelies and our freestyle competition. And right now, let's find out what's happening behind the scenes and check in with Keaton Stewart. Thanks, Ryan. Moments ago, I was actually just running out in to the pits where all of our technicians are working hard in the cold for our Monster Jam trucks that are bringing the heat. When we see Weston Anderson and Gravedigger enter the track again, he might look a little different on his truck, but it's strictly cosmetic changes and little adjustments that they're doing just to make sure that that truck is safe and good to go. Other than that, in the pits, our main story actually lies with Team Megalodon. It was during the Sky Willy competition that they actually ended up having issues with their transmission. In the video, check it out because we've got Michaela actually sleeves rolled up in there working super hard alongside her crew chief and father, Mitch, and of course her younger brother Bryce are there as well. So you can see them actually adjusting that transmission right above that X that you see. If you can look in there, that is the transmission. Now, yesterday, they had issues with the input of the transmission, and they had to completely replace that. So if you can imagine, I mean, with our daily drivers, we get upset about our transmissions. This is two transmissions in two days, but this team is so determined to get the truck back out there. Actually, right before I came out here for this pit report, I did talk to Michaela. She says right now they are about 75% of the way complete with that brand new transmission in there. But they're working against the clock. They should have time to be fully ready back for the Sky Wheelie competition. But I will keep you guys up to date with that breakage story as well as anything else that happens in the event. Grand Rapids, welcome back to Monster Jam. Please welcome the superstars of USFMX. And one thing about our FMX riders, they feed off of your energy. And so we're going to need to get it up to a 9 or a 10 for them to go big and crazy. So let's see how loud we can get right now. On the count of three, make as much noise as possible. One, two, three. Not bad for a start, Grand Rapids, not bad, but we're gonna need to get louder than that if we wanna see some crazy moves from these riders. So I want you to help me on welcoming our first rider to the ramp all the way from Worcester, Massachusetts. I want everyone to give a big warm welcome to Brendan Reardon. There we go, getting a little louder. Now from Helps, Michigan, give it up for Scott Murray. From Annapolis, Maryland, make some noise, it's Greg Duffy. Last but not least, from Orlando, Florida, it's TJ Tiffany. All right, Grand Rapids, these four daredevils are just warming up. So as they do, if you guys like what you see, I want you to get loud. Greg Duffy turning up the heat. That sounds like you guys like what you saw. If we get even louder, let's see what they'll do. A nice whip from Scott Murray. Keep up the volume, let's see it. Grand Rapids, we can do better than that. Let me hear ya. 
a lazy boy from TJ Tiffany. I think it's working, you guys. Keep up the volume. Now that's the volume I'm talking about, Grand Rapids. Good job, that's what we want to hear. Now hopefully you guys like the freestyle motocross action you've seen so far. Sounds like you do, Grand Rapids. You keep up that energy. That is exactly what we want because we are about to go into the freestyle motocross best trick competition where all four of these riders will be competing against each other to see which one of them will be the lucky one to walk away with that title of best trick winner. Now, we wouldn't let you judge our monster jam trucks and not let you have a say in which one of these four gentlemen will be going home with the title. So, we're gonna need your help at judgeszone.com. Ryan and I will walk you through the scoring. But Grand Rapids, I'm excited to ask this. Are you ready for the Freestyle Motocross Best Trick Competition? That's some noise right there. What's up, Grand Rapids? All right, up first is going to be Brendan Reardon, who's been riding with Monster Jam for two years now, but riding on his dirt bike for 24 years on a Honda 450, a 2017 international gold medalist. And for our best trick competition, as soon as you see these guys hitting the runway, that's when we need to turn the volume up to 10 and cheer them on. So, Grand Rapids, make some noise for Brendan Reardon. A Superman seat grab, Indy from Brendan Reardon. What did you think, Grand Rapids? All right, first to go. Tough tough job on that first rider. Being the first to go in the competition, but you guys have a tough job too. We need you right now at judgezone.com. Same 20 seconds, same rules. All you need to do is slide the BKT Tiger and lock it in for Brendan Reardon. We're gonna see exactly what you guys thought in just a sec. His scores are in at judgezone.com. For Brendan Reardon, the score is A 7.102, a 7.102 for Brandon Reardon. Up next, the Michigan man, Scott Murray. Scott's been riding for a few decades now all around the world. He even brings his son with him to launch across these ramps. If this is your first time getting to know your neighbor, Scott Murray, this is one of the coolest neighbors on the planet. Remember, when he hits the runway, make some noise for Scott Murray. Scott Murray coming in with a tsunami, Grand Rapids. He's turning up the heat here. Let him know what you thought, and like my good co-host says, turn those screams into scores. He's pretty happy with himself, so I can't wait to see what you guys think. We're gonna... Scott Murray doing what I like to call there the, the CrossFit, getting his CrossFit push-ups in. But Greg Duffy up next, who has won two of our best trick competitions with the Freestyle Motocross crew this weekend. And earlier you saw him doing the backflip thumbs up. That was wild. Greg Duffy, been riding for a while now. Lots of skill, looking for a win. Grand Rapids, make some noise. Grand Rapids, give it up for Greg Duffy. You know, not only did he have to do the backflip, but check out the video board. It's a backflip, no hands. I don't know, this guy's just showing off, you guys. What do you think? If you're impressed, we want your scores, whatever they are, at judgeszone.com. We will see if Greg Duffy did enough to knock Scott Murray out of the running in Scott Murray's own home state. Let's check it out. 
Only rider to ever do a double front flip in the world. We'll see what the score is. All right, so the score to beat, Scott Murray in 8.554. The score for Greg Duffy is a 9.378. We have a new leader. Now it's time for our final rider and our freestyle motocross jump off. TJ Tiffany from Orlando, Florida has appeared doing stunts in Avengers Endgame, Bad Boys 3, multiple Netflix series, veteran Supercross rider, and the score to beat, a 9.378. Last night he would take this competition win. Let's see what he's got. If he can do it again. Come on, Grand Rapids, make some noise. Let's hear it for TJ Tiffany. Coming in with a bad flip, one hand showing off, making that stuff look easy. Oh gosh, you guys have a tough job on your hands, but I'm glad it's you because I know you guys can do it. We need you at judgeszone.com right now. We're gonna find out if this little rivalry that has been building between Greg Duffy and TJ Tiffany, what that means for them today. So, we got the scores locked in, let's check it out. TJ Tiffany doing the high mom wave as he's back flipping. Now his score is in, let's see what it is. An 8.682, that means your winner is Greg Duffy. Grand Rapids, if you want to see some more freestyle motocross, make some noise. Well, lucky for you, it is time for our freestyle motocross grand finale. We're going to get to see all four of these deer devils fly from one side of the arena to the other in a continuous train while performing tricks. Now, Grand Rapids. After this, we're going back to Monster Jam trucks. So, I want you to get as loud as you can. These guys think you can do it. I know you can do it. So, when you see TJ Tiffany in the green bike get to the top of this ramp, that's when I want you guys to lose it. Get ready. Not bad, Grand Rapids. Not bad at all, but TJ Tiffany wants you to get louder. Can we be louder than the first train? Grand Rapids, you know what to do. Let's see if we can outdo ourselves one more time. I don't know, what do you think? We're gonna see if they thought you guys were loud enough. Will they give us an opportunity to do one more train? Looks like they're gonna give it to you, Grand Rapids. Pat yourselves on the back. You earn yourself this grand finale train. I want all of Michigan to know that Monster Jam is in town and it's time for freestyle motocross. So, let me hear ya. Grand Rapids, one more time. Make some noise for your US FMX riders, Brendan Reardon, Scott Murray, Greg Duffy, and TJ Tiffany. Some of the wildest guys on the planet, also some of the most fun dudes to hang out with. Ripping it up here in Van Andel Arena. Keaton is now with your freestyle motocross best trick winner, Greg Duffy. Greg, you know what? These fans were so loud for you guys. I mean, I said it, that you guys even just pulled up and they were so excited. So to feel that energy and then know all of that culminated into them picking you as the winner. I mean, how sweet is that victory? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, Grand Rapids has been great to us. I think you guys might be the loudest crowd yet. So give yourselves a round of applause.
And you know what, for our fans that had the privilege of being able to go to the Monster Jam Pit Party, I know that they got to see you guys on the track as well. And there's probably so many little ones and families that you get to meet. What is it like for you to be able to really connect with the fans that are here watching you? It's amazing because, uh, yeah, back when I was about seven years old, my dad bought me my first dirt bike. And uh, he used to actually do the quad wars section in these things. But uh, he's the one who got me into it. I've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else I'd rather be doing. And now I know we kind of play up the little rivalry between you and TJ Tiffany. He won yesterday. You won today. It's kind of like a tug of war. You have gotten more wins, I will say. But, you know, you guys are really actually close friends uh, off the track. What is it like for you to be able to compete and have so much fun with those guys, but really also have great friendships with them as well? Oh, it's great. Yeah, me and TJ, we, uh, we grew up racing dirt bikes together. And, uh, you know, I've known the guy since I was probably about 12 years old. And uh, the rivalry continues. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely out here having fun and uh, getting loose for you guys. Well, give it up for your best trick winner one more time. It's Greg Duffy. Willie competition. Each driver will have one attempt to throw down their best Sky Willie performance. And you, Grand Rapids, as our official judges, pay close attention to the driver's vertical positioning and their ability to land that Sky Willie on the center of the elevated obstacle. Grand Rapids, who's ready for the Monster Jam Sky Willie competition? Up first, get those zombie arms up for Frank Kremel in zombie. for Frank Kremel, Zombie. It's time to score Grand Rapids. If you're here in Van Andel Arena, let's lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. So Frank Kremel in Zombie, pretty pumped to make the return here for the Sky Wheelie competition. And now waits for your scores at judgeszone.com. The score for Frank Kremel and Zombie is a 6.071. Right now, Zombie in first with a 6.071. All right, Monster Jam fans, we are all going to play a game together. So let's take a look up at the video board. All right, we're gonna play a game called Helmet Shuffle. We're gonna put three helmets up on the video board. All you have to do is keep your eye on the trophy that's gonna be hiding around underneath those helmets. So let's take a look, everyone. There's the trophy. All right, now, once these helmets stop, they're gonna fall, and you gotta keep your eye on that trophy, all right? Let's drop the helmets. Don't lose it, it's in the center. Uh-oh. I don't know about you guys, but I might have lost it already. Keep your eye on it. All right, shout out which one you think it is. If you think it's in one, make some noise. If you think it's in two, make some noise. If you think it's in three, make some noise. Not a lot of noise for three. Well, let's start lifting those helmets, DJ Dan. If you said one, sorry to break it to you. Oh! Well, if you said two, guess what? You were right. Great job, Grand Rapids. You are pretty good. Now I have one more question. Who's ready for more Monster Jam? JCB Dirt Crew getting zombie off the floor. Some breakage for Frank Kremel in zombie. But again, here in our Sky Wheelie competition, each competitor has one attempt at the perfect sky wheelie. We're looking for the height of the jump. How high will they go? Also, 
the vertical position of that truck. Is it 90 degrees where that nose is pointed straight to the ceiling? We might even get a wow factor in there like we've seen from Weston Anderson the last couple of events, but we're also looking for creativity with your scores at judgeszone.com in our third of four competitions. And remember, right now, El Toro Loco in the lead towards that BKT overall event championship. Up next, Michaela Taluchka in Megalodon. in your scores you got 20 seconds just like a shark jumping out of water on one of those tv shows during shark events that was awesome to watch michaela tulechka on board with her right now as she waits her scores at judgeszone.com the score is in the score to beat zombie a 6.071 the score for megalodon is Seven point zero five six. Your new leader is Megalodon. Now let's see what her brother has in store in our Sky Wheelie competition. Here comes Brandon Talechka. Just get her done too. judgeszone.com remember that city code is rap nice height you can't really get much more vertical than that when it comes to 90 degrees in the air and then the pogo bounce off the pad lots of style right there brandon telechka and just get her done too the scores are in score to beat megalodon a 7.056 the score for just get her done too is 8.028, your new leader. Just get her done too. Our next competitor is Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Monster Mutt Dalmatian. It's time to score. Everyone lock it in. Remember, you only have 20 seconds to let your voice be heard. That was big air right there from Jamie Sullivan. Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She could have jumped over a Monster Jam truck doing that sky wheelie. And now we'll see if her scores are as big as that air. Score is in. The score to beat. Just get her done too. At an 8.028, the score for Monster Mutt Dalmatian is 
and 8.039. Your new leader is Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And now your fifth competitor, Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. to scores right now at judgeszone.com. A full 360, then he turns it around the other way. The super glue glued to the action replay. Weston Anderson, Gravedigger, figuring it out in this sky wheelie competition. That's the creativity we're looking for and the wow factor at the end of it. All right, here we go. The score to beat, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And 8.039, the score for Weston Anderson and Grave Digger is... Nine point three two nine. your new leader is Grave Digger. But he's not gonna sit back. And let Gravedigger win easy. Here comes Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. Huge air right there from Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco. Great vertical position, bouncing a few times before setting it back down. The question is, is it enough to take the lead from Gravedigger in our third competition of the afternoon? So here we go. Lock your eyes to the video board for the scores for El Toro Loco. It is a 7.919. Right now, Fernando Martinez sits in fourth place in El Toro Loco. Score to beat, Gravedigger, 9.329. Two competitors left. Up next is Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. So right now the placement of our competitors in the Sky Wheelie competition gonna shake up the overall event points just a little bit. We'll see if Gravedigger can hold on to that top spot. Going Stone Crusher, Alex Barton making his presence known right now. It's 
Stone Crusher Sunday. Make some noise for Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. You know what time it is, Grand Rapids. It's time to score. Slide that BKT tire up or down and press submit. I love how they pause that super glue glue to the action replay right at the height of their jump in the sky wheelie. Another big hit and pretty much perfection right there from Alex Barden and Stone Crusher. But were your scores enough to take the lead from Gravedigger? Scores for Stone Crusher are in. It is a 7.368. That right now puts him in fifth place in our Sky Wheelie competition. And our last competitor, Brianna Mahan, Scooby Doo. Brianna Mahan and Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Gotta let us know what you thought of that one at Judges Zone. Let's lock those scores in, Grand Rapids. One of the things that I love about Brianna Mahan in the Sky Wheelie competition in Scooby-Doo is how she gets the bottom of that truck to almost go completely under her the way she hits the throttle while that truck is in the air. And that's a trick she's learned from dirt bikes from quad racing. And so that really helps her get that truck extra vertical when it's our Sky Wheelie competition. And the scores for Scooby-Doo are in. And 8.128 second place for Scooby-Doo. That means your Sky Wheelie winner is Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. Gravedigger driver Weston Anderson has over 10 Sky Wheelie wins on the season. Grabbing the third possible eight points with that win and his first competition win of the day. And he's hanging out with Keaton Stewart. Weston, congratulations. I got to say, though, I, I don't think we're going to believe you much longer that this is an accident because this keeps happening and the crowd just went absolutely nuts. I mean... You can see the divot that you left in the pod. What were you thinking after you pulled off the perfect sky wheelie and then just decided to add that little Anderson flair? You know, I got a little bit mad in two wheel skills after doing the front flip and getting second place. But hey, man, it's motorsports. So I had to come out here and beat him fair and square, man. And we had did just that. You know, that brings me to my next question, because we've seen this happen right here in Grand Rapids this weekend, where this is the time where we really see you take back the event. Do you think that we've got the capability to see you win and potentially take the overall here today? Hey, I'm going to drive the truck until it doesn't go anymore, until I get shut off. So as long as you fans are having fun, I'm going to have fun, man. Win or lose, y'all have supported us for 43 years and hopefully 43 more, man. Thank you, guys. One last watch of that super glue glue to the action replay. Just wild what Weston Anderson could do in that black and green wrecking machine. And now, based on that win, we have a tie going into our final competition between El Toro Loco and Gravedigger, both with 20 points and not too far behind. In third, Brandon Talachka just get her done too. Even Monster Mud Dalmatian, Jamie Sullivan, has an opportunity to win that BKT overall event. But it's up to you 
all the fans and our drivers in our freestyle competition and your scores at judgeszone.com. The monster minute, we like to call it, where each driver gets 60 seconds to go absolutely wild on our track. And we're looking for big hits on all obstacles. We're looking for wow moments. We're looking for technical moves. And we're looking for you to help decide our final winner at judgeszone.com. Monster Jam Freestyle is next. Grand Rapids, you've been pretty loud so far, but now we want to see just how loud you can get. So make some noise and get loud. Let's see if we can break the roar meter. That's what we're talking about. Keep it going. to kick off our Monster Jam Freestyle competition. So, take out your phones, turn on your flashlights, and follow my lead. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Keep going. Talk about an aggressive start to our Monster Jam Freestyle competition. Make some noise for Brandon to look at. Just get her done, too. Get those scores in Grand Rapids, judgeszone.com. What a great way to kick off freestyle. And Brandon saw he is in the chase right now for the overall event championship, but just get her done, too. So he's open for big scores and a big lead to start this freestyle competition. Hopefully the other drivers won't be able to catch up for him so he can take that BKT overall event championship. The scores are in for just get her done too. A 7.419 to kick off our freestyle. Up next, Michaela Teluchka in Megalodon.
Put your fins together for Michaela Telechka, Megalodon. There she is, make some noise. But don't forget, you gotta score, Grand Rapids. The scores are open for Megalodon. Driving the fins off of that thing, Michaela Telechka, feeling good in Grand Rapids in Megalodon. And probably would feel pretty good, too, if she could knock her brother off the top spot right now in freestyle. The score to beat is just get her done to a 7.419. The score for Megalodon is 7.419. Your new leader is Megalodon. Now ready to burn it down with an awesome freestyle. Here comes Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Mutt Dalmatian. Take out those phones, Grand Rapids. It is time to score. Taking the dog out for a walk in that monster jam track. Big air. Technical moves. Lots of momentum for Jamie Sullivan. Monster Mutt Dalmatian. The scores are in. The score to beat. Is Megalodon a 7.801? The score for Monster Mutt Dalmatian is 8.362. Your new leader, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Time for your fourth competitor up next. It's Alex Barden, Stone Crusher.
pardon in Stone Crusher. The scores are open, everyone. Make your way to judgeszone.com. If you haven't scored our drivers yet, you still have time to scan that QR code. Super fan turned superstar Alex Barden. Stone Crusher with a great freestyle in hopes of taking the final competition win of the afternoon at Van Andel Arena. The question is, is his score high enough to take the lead right now? The scores are in for Stone Crusher. It is a 5.92. Alex Barden and Stone Crusher right now in fourth place in our freestyle competition. Monster Jam fans, I am here to give you an update from the pits outside happening right now. I want to bring you back a few moments ago when we saw Frank Krimmel and Zombie actually being recovered off the track. If you were keeping a close eye, you may have noted that the back two BKT tires were unable to turn. Now, what it ended up being was the impact of his sky wheelie actually resulted in a broken rear drive shaft. Now, the drive shaft is being replaced, but the drive shaft is a really, really strong core piece of the Monster Jam truck. It's the impact of the 12,000 pound machine that actually causes it to break like it's not even made of metal. But when I was talking to Frank Krimmel and the team in the back right now, it's not so much that the drive shaft is something really complicated to replace, but rather that it's time consuming. Into the drive shaft, not only is that that one part of the drive shaft, but we on our Monster Jam truck have a drive shaft cage. But then that drive shaft cage is actually protected by a drive shaft blanket. And this doesn't even cover the millions of screws, knots, bolts, everything that they have to do to be able to get it taken off and put back on. In the last run, when I was checking in with them, they did have the broken one removed and we're in the process of putting the new one on. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with all the action happening in the pits, but we have to continue with Monster Jam Freestyle. Four competitors left. Score to beat right now, Monster Mutt Dalmatian at 8.362. Up next, it's Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Grand Rapids, make some noise for Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. And get your scores in at judgeszone.com. The super glue glue to the action replay, driving the door off of that thing. Big backflip and then a wild moment to finish that freestyle. And that truck just hanging out right now. Weston Anderson, all that blood rushing right to his head as he hangs upside down. Our JCB team getting ready to get that truck back on all fours. But that was... A wild freestyle in the black and green wrecking machine. And it's, it seems like a man who wants to win that overall event championship. So here we go. The score to beat Monster Mutt Dalmatian in 8.362. The score for Weston Anderson and Gravedigger is...
9.691. Your new leader is Gravedigger. All right, a Monster Jam fans. Oh, wow, that was epic. We're going to take a moment to play an epic game with my new friend, Kyrie. Kyrie, we're going to play a game called Head to Head Showdown. You're going to go head to head with one of our Monster Jam drivers. All right. All you have to do is name as many colors as you can in 15 seconds. Do you think he can do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, he says, Grand Rapids. Do you think he can do it? All right. Well, we're gonna put 15 seconds up on the clock. All right. Colors, as many as you can in 15 seconds. Go. Red, blue, violet, purple, purple, pink, red, I met white, blue, yellow, orange, green, white, green, and white, and black, and white, black. <laughs> time! That was time! White, black! That's a new way to say gray. I like that. I think you should get the point for that. It's just me. Wait, wait, don't go. Don't go yet. We got to see. Got to see if you won, all right? Now, we're going to take a look up at the video board and see who you're playing against, all right? Here we go. It's Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Uh-oh, let's see how she does. with your very own Grave Digger plush from all of us here at Monster Jam and Feld Entertainment. I know Monster Jam, I'm sorry, Grave Digger is your favorite. So what did you think about that Morgan and Morgan backflip? It was good. It was good. I know, that is so good. Everyone, make some noise for Kyrie. So with that freestyle win, or with that freestyle score, Weston Anderson takes the lead in Gravedigger. Monster Mutt Dalmatian in second, Megalodon in third, just get her done in fourth. And coming into this competition, El Toro Loco and Gravedigger were tied for first with 20 points towards that BKT overall event championship. So El Toro Loco gonna need a score higher than a 9.691 to win. We've got a few competitors left. Grand Rapids, you ready for some more? Well, up next is Brianna Mahan, Scooby-Doo. Lock them in. You got 20 seconds. A fun run with Brianna Mahan and Scooby Doo. Hitting every ramp. Lots of sky wheelies and big air. 
But will that translate to big scores at judgeszone.com? So the scores are in for Scooby-Doo. It is a 7.579 right now. Brianna Mahan, Scooby-Doo sitting in fourth place in freestyle. So Gravedigger still has that score to beat. Weston Anderson, a 9.691. Monster Jam fans, I promised you an update and I've got one for you right now. I just ran back into the pits outside and it was actually a lot of work going on with Team El Toro Loco. What I have here is called a limiter strap. Now, if you take a look at this top end that I've got held up, it is absolutely frayed. This is what it normally looks like, but it was actually during the sky wheelie of El Toro Loco that this limiter strap broke. And so the team was tirelessly working to be able to remove the parts necessary to be able to re replace this strap. And with time against them, we really don't know what's gonna happen. So I will keep you guys up to date. Hopefully, I know all the El Toro Loco fans wanna see him out here. We're gonna see what happens. More Monster Jam Freestyle headed your way. That music can only mean one thing. The truck is repaired and up next, Frank Kreml in zombie. So Grand Rapids get those zombie arms out. what time it is it's time to score scan that qr code if you're here in the arena with us so you can lock in your scores great to see frank kremlin and zombie getting back out on the track for freestyle that means the unoh tech officials along with his team thrashing away to get it back for all of you grand rapids fans and uh, frank a big fan of michigan grown up here his whole life loves michigan sports and hopefully getting some big scores from you fans in grand rapids the score for zombie is in and it is a 5.897 and that means the score to beat is gravedigger a 9.691 coming into this final competition. El Toro Loco and Gravedigger were tied. Does Fernando Martinez have the Riz to pull it off? Or will Gravedigger win its fourth overall event championship of the weekend? It all comes down to this Grand Rapids. Here comes Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco.
Let's hear it for Fernando Martinez in El Toro Loco. Not the way he wanted to end his freestyle, but explosive no less. Let's lock in those scores, everyone. Scan the QR code. You got 15 seconds left. So Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, coming in hot for freestyle, knowing he had a big score to beat with Weston Anderson in Gravedigger, and he didn't leave it. I mean, left the truck out on the track there, but for that freestyle, he was going big in hopes of taking that win in freestyle and possibly the overall event championship today. So now the scores are coming in from judgeszone.com. Is it enough to take the win? No, a 7.796. That means your freestyle winner is Weston Anderson Gravedigger. And now, is it enough for the overall event championship? Our JCB Racing Competition, five points, eight points in Sky Wheelies, seven in two wheel skills, and eight points in freestyle with a total of 28 points. Your BKT overall event champion is Weston Anderson, Gravedigger. Out of four competitions, Gravedigger taking four wins so far this weekend. Congratulations, Weston Anderson and Chandler West, crew chief of Team Gravedigger. Weston, we saw you with your comeback and to come out and deliver, I don't think I have ever seen you hit the backflip ramp that fast. I mean, what really pushed you to kind of have this wild and crazy freestyle run? Man, it has to be the fans, like I said earlier. They have supported us for so long, and the littlest thing I could do is come out here and crash a truck for them, say, hey, I came out here and I did just that for y'all. You know what, I think a lot of these people might even be here from the legacy of your family and you guys continue to kind of coin freestyle and just constantly pushing it to the ragged edge. So if you have today potentially made some new Gravedigger fans, is there any message you want to send your fans home with? You know, some of you guys may have heard this back in the day. It was my dad's slogan. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for every nut and bolt on our truck and every shingle on our roof, baby. It's because of you guys that Gravedigger is as big as it is today. So I thank you guys for 43 years of support to Gravedigger and Monster Jam, man. Hey, I got one more thing, though. I want to know who is the biggest Gravedigger fan in the house. Come on, who is the biggest Gravedigger fan in the house tonight? Congratulations again to Weston Anderson, our Gravedigger driver. Four out of five events on the weekend. He could take the clean sweep in the overall event championships, but uh, at the end there, tough break for El Toro Loco. I mean, Fernando Martinez, I thought he had it in the bag today. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was looking really, really good for Fernando Martinez. But, you know, he said something before that he killed it in that first half, but he, for some reason, has just had not ha has not had the best luck when it comes to that second half of our events. But, yeah, it was great. Uh, Weston ended up back on all four BKC tires, and there you go. He's on top. Yep, yep, and a big win for Weston, who really would love to punch in that ticket to the Monster Jam World Finals 23 in L.A. If you thought that was awesome, get the details and your tickets at monsterjam.com to join us for this year's World Finals in May. And for Keaton Stewart, Taylor Olivia, I'm Ryan Lacoste. We had a blast here at Van Andel Arena. YouTube, we hope you enjoyed what just went down here, and we're ready to do it again. We've got one more big event tonight in Grand Rapids at Van Andel Arena. And if you want to join us, please do. And again, thank you for joining us today. We hope you have a great afternoon and a safe drive home. Grand Rapids, that was Monster Jam.
Thank you. 